Let's look at the question number five of this year's prelims paper. Question is asking that which of the following is the best example of repeated falls in sea level giving rise to present day most important word extensive marshland. So question is asking that which of the following is an extensive marshland which has developed because of the fall in the sea level. So let's look at the options itself. So option is asking, option is asking Bhitar Kanuga mangroves. Option B is saying Marakkanam salt pens. Option C is saying Nopada swamps. Option D is saying Ran of Kutch. Actually, some elimination technique can be applied to the given question itself. Let's look at the basic part. There are two keywords. One of them is referred to as marshland. And the second one is referred to as swamp. There is a basic difference between the two. What that it is? Swamps will be having the water soaked ground surface or soil throughout the year. That is for 12 months. No part of the year soil is dry. It is soaked with water throughout the year. But marshland, when you say only in a part of the year, it will be having the water soaked ground surface, not throughout the year. That is the basic difference between the two terminology. Now let's look at the options here. The option A is saying Bhitar Kanika mangroves, which is present in Odisha. Actually, this Bhitar Kanika mangroves can be eliminated because mangroves they grow in the swamps, but not in the marshes. And the question is asking present day extensive marshland that which one of the following is the example of marshland, an extensive marshland, not swamp. So consequently, we are eliminating the option number A. When going to the option number B, Marakkanam salt pans present along the eastern coastline of India, they have been developed by human beings. Means these are man-made salt pans. They are not the natural ones. Consequently, this option can also be eliminated because question is asking repeated falls in sea level must have developed that marshland. But here it is human beings whose involvement is there, not the nature that is repeated falls in sea level. What about the Nopada swamps? So once again, swamp terminology is there. So we can eliminate that because there is a difference between the marshland and swamp. So only one option is left behind. That is the Ran of Kutch. Ran of Kutch is the right answer. That is option number D. So actually thousands of years ago, this Ran of Kutch area, if I mark it on the map, this one, when you talk about it, this is the Ran of Kutch. Ran of Kutch. It was a gulf. It was a part of the sea. It was an extension of the Arabian Sea. But due to some tectonic activities along the western part of India, the source of seawater to this region has been cut off. Consequently, this region is was free of the sea level completely. Now, what is happening that when the summer season comes up during summers, this region is completely dry. But when the monsoon season comes up, then this region ran of Kutch will be witnessing water soaked ground surface that is the wet conditions in the soil. So it is conforming to the definition of the you can say marshes also that is part of the year it is moist part of the year it is dry and also it has been formed through the you can say fall in the sea level the source of sea water supply has been cut off through the tectonic activity up to so on. So correct answer for the given question going back it should be the option number D that is Ran of Kutch.